every day out there this is what's up from smart tech and today i'm going to show you guys how to create this noise effect it looks complex but it is very simple right there so i'm just going to open this for reference if i ever need it and i'm going to open my mat and make it noise mat and let's go tutorial right there okay so let's start by dragging off the base color and noise this is gonna do the main things and um, for my uh, my position i'm just gonna use a panel because i need it to be moving and drag off the whole position from here drag off a divide cool just hold s and left click to create a scale parameter name this scale something like 20 shall do for this year use component mask now what i have done is absolute roll position is going to say for every one centimeter this is going to be repeated once and by i mean one ua4 ball UA4 units it is gonna be repeated once and and dividing by scale means in here it is 20 it will say for um every 20 units it is gonna be repeated once mask rg because this banner is 3d so i'm just gonna use rg that is red and green x and y and convert it to parameter moving now what I want is space fn uh, fn vector. I'm just gonna tell you guys what this is. Let's connect these two to get rid of that error. Okay, so what is happening here is speed has two values x and y and using an fn it will read the a value as x and b value for y. Name them whatever you want. I'm just gonna use uh, I can spread it in speed at the right speed wow. like that speed x yes do something like I should have done this earlier before copying it okay. now what do I want around this move words w um second records i don't want it to stretch and noise works with um, all three coordinates it needs all three chords and chords but panel is only two chords we have this rg so i'm going to use b second records will not move only these two will move and it looks and it makes an interesting effect right there let me show you position and use an fn vector yet again a, just hold control to the, do that hold control and move your cursor around to transfer all the connections and this is gonna use that technique in a bit now what we want is color um, multiply hold control put this function here and multiply this hold 3 to create a 3 vector that is a color right click convert to parameter name it whatever you want I am gonna just do it in do something like orange or red if you may I think I will go with a uh, goldish color this time not the best color for these and I have my um, no I wanted to emit color right just drag off multiply from here drag off a power power is going to increase the contrast that is it is outputting this in black and white that is why I, I add color to it and power will do that power will add the contrast now it is saying that in the white areas the, um, this color will stay but in the black areas it will be removed or masked from here I want another multiply and now I want it to pulse so I want a time node and the multiply node Put this here use a scalar parameter name this pulse speed put this into one 
so the delta time is being used and use the sign node to create a oh, friend a sign sign node to create a waveform from minus one to one I'm gonna add a con constant value to it why I'm adding a constant value so that it is gonna be um, in the minus one I'm adding a value of two so the minimum is one and it, com it doesn't completely fade out and the max is gonna be three so my waveform will be one to three um, Intensity. I'm just gonna use the default here. Put this in the time is color. We are almost in there. And what we are gonna do now is I want if I want to use instead of these cloudy light things, what if I want let's just say only the lines in between? So I'm gonna use something simple. 1 minus will give us the effect we want. 1 minus will invert these black and white values. First, I'm just going to set up some other stuff. Static switch to add user friendliness. Bool. Static bool parameter. Bool. And this, I'm going to name it lines. Do you want lines or do you don't? If it is false, then it is going to use the normal value that is it will outward it will show you this cloudy structure and if it is true it will invert these black and white values and use them and I'll put this here actually I'm gonna put that here pops there cool so if it's true then it will use the inverted values for the calculation but if it is false then it will use the cloudy structures there. um now I just need one to add one more little thing to the color, um, control W there and name it tin B. I just want the tin B to be at the edges so it gives a nice, you know, blending effect. For that, I'm gonna use linear interpolate. Now, what is I'm gonna do is something alongside that shade only since I'm blending them and not and I don't want contrast so I'm just gonna use a that is that is why I said something nearby I'm just gonna do something like that shade is so that the shade is there and Prenel is basically what I'll just show you why at the edges? Fresnel is usually important to blend the colors, and that's how it works in nature. Um, you will see a different darker shade. You will, if you look at the at a point straight down, you will see a darker shade of blue at the edges. Okay, and just put this here. I am blending between the, these two. Apply. No. Oh, I forgot one thing. So you might want to add these. The same. I'm just gonna use a uh, fast grain. Sorry, yeah. um, because this is faster and uses less in, in um, less CP power. And levels is basically the uh, amount of occurrence. I'm just gonna put this down to three. And the level scale is basically let's just say the amount of detail for that of the levels 0.5. Of course, you can go ahead and read the utility expressions document documentation of UE4. It is very helpful. And output minimum, I'm gonna use uh, minus 0.5. It works like let's just say minus point five, not five point zero. Um, it works like the um, clamp or clamp value, clamp there and apply. And we have that. I'll just right click, create material instance, put this here. Oh, come on. Put this here. 
Let that happen, let that happen. Wow, that is taking some time. Doesn't matter to them, I'll just close that and leave that. Now, I'll just try to the left here to create some space, right? So then I'll just take all the stuff. Here's all that stuff. And right here to create more space there. Try it there. And uh, there you go. So now, first I'll explain the most important thing. My moving quads, red and green. As you can see, it is only moving subtly on the red and green axis here. And it is not moving vertically upwards here. It is only moving in the green direction there. Okay, so red and green are my mm, moving quads and my second secondary quads that are not moving and are just there to make a 3D effect is for the is the blue here of course you can go ahead and change that in this case i'm gonna do green blue and in this case here red so it won't move um in the vertically upwards it is gonna move downwards there and in the green blue area it is gonna move on both the axes here so what i want now is the lines come on fast lines come on we fast yeah here we go now you can oh i can just show you one more thing now filter with controls my blur and in the line case coverage i'll just call this blur and let the default value be zero Put this to zero, let that happen, and wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Mm, it is happening there. Mm -hmm, it's not. There it is, yes. Now, as you can see, all this adds some contrasting colors there. Add the edges to create a better blend effect between two, uh, two different colors if you want or need blur is the blur basically now glow intensity controls the glow intensity there scale we control if i decrease this and then i go speed x so i can increase the those speeds we can see it better in the play mode I press shift F1 bring these values back here they are moving yes they are moving but they are moving very slowly and I'll just escape out and set these values to 1 and 1 and if I try to play again now as you can see it is moving and it is creating good look, a good looking effect there Moving towards are my green and blue, and this is going to be my right. Cool. It's all the awesome blending. This happening at the top. Green and blue. Yes. So as you can see, we have D and this, and of course you can go ahead and undo that. I already showed you. Pulse intensity controls the pulse intensity. But I like to use this. Of course, you can go ahead and play actually intensity down there. If I want something like that awesome color shade of blue, and go ahead put something like that color blue at the edges there. <coughs> so that it gives you this awesome looking material. And though, and this is uh, I want to increase my brightness and decrease my gains. Only my blue over here. Just look at these edges. They look good. I like that color. 
yeah that looks good okay guys if you like this video make sure to like share and subscribe to our, my channel it helps me a lot happy new year guys and well um keep watching keep rating and goodbye until next time